Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to another Curtis's Corner. If you are new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner, and on today's Makeup Monday, we're gonna try some new products. Now, when I say new, I mean either A, I've never heard of them, B, they're just released, or C, I've just never tried them yet. So, we're gonna be trying out from Bourgeois Paris, the Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Foundation that allegedly wears up to 16 hours. It has a mixture of vitamin C, E, and B5. I got two different shades because neither one of these are my shade. And the reason why I picked this up though, they're $4 each. So I wanna see what this is like. So we're gonna try that out. I've got the Sephora um, Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder to try out as well. I've got some stuff from Jacqueline Cosmetics. We have from her, I believe it's the Haute Couture collection. We have her Putty Highlighter. This is in the shade Star Power. We have her Cream Bronzer in the shade Beachy. I'm hoping it's my shade. We also have the Lip Oil in the shade Crystal Drip. So we're gonna try those out today. My friend Sabrina for my birthday ended up getting me the Back to the Fuchsia blush and highlighter palette from Trixie Mattel. And we're also going to try the new Morphe Coca-Cola Cherry Coke palette as well. So we've got lots of goodies to try on. Anything I don't need to try on on camera will be done off camera. As per usual, we'll focus this video on the new products that I'm going to be reviewing, testing out, and seeing if they are approved or not. So if you are interested, in seeing my thoughts and how these products apply and keep on so my primer and moisturizer are on I'm all soaked in so let's give these a little test show Bourgeois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Foundation with Radiant Complexion. Anti-fatigue and radiance reveal foundation with vitamin mix. Flawless, fresh, and healthy looking complexion up to 24 hours hydration. Non-comedogenic, I don't know what that means, and tested dermatologically. Well, so this one is in the shade Crystal and this one is in the shade Maple. Get off my foundation. Get it off. So I want to see kind of what oh, the difference is in the two shades and really, really see, it looks very watery. Oh my God, that's like alabaster color. So this is the maple shade right here. And then that's the crystal shade, maple crystal. Um, yeah, so definitely maple is 100% too dark, for sure, but if I mix them together, it's a little bit too light, but I can also add more. Oh, it's kind of giving me like a pink undertone, but it's blending in nicely. That's with fingers. So, I'm going to do two, mm, one and a half of crystal. And we'll do one full of maple. I'm gonna go into my JS1 brush. We're gonna just mix it all around. Okay, we're gonna test this now. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of, kind of sheared away to like nothing, but Oh no, actually, there is a slight color difference. But it's so watery that I now need to apply more again. Why does it look lighter up there? Why does it look lighter all over now? I did the same amount. What's happening? Maybe this is why it was $4. Because it doesn't stay the same. Oh, what's happening with my nose? 
I'm just gonna really buff it in with this brush and I'm gonna go over with a blender as well. But this is, this is not looking great on my nose at all. It's also looking extremely, like it looks very cakey on my nose. Actually, it kind of looks cakey everywhere. I was gonna say just on my forehead, but no. It's like, it's very, while it's super watery, it's very, very, like, it looks like I'm wearing makeup. Picking up on every texture and every pore. I don't know if I like that. I'm just gonna quickly go over it, seal it all in with my ColourPop Velvet sponge here. Just to try and hopefully make it sink in, melt better, look more skin-like. I don't know if they're saving this foundation. Actually, it did. The sponge is like a godsend. Legitimately though, looks immediately better just because I pounced it in with a velvet sponge. The nose is still iffy, but everywhere else looks okay. So there's that. All right, I'm just gonna quickly throw on some concealer and I will be right back to continue the look. Alrighty, concealer's all on. Now we're going to go into the Cream Bronzer by Jaclyn Cosmetics. Love all of Jackie's past releases. Can I call you Jackie? I'm doing it anyways. I love all of Jackie's releases. So I'm hoping I'm going to love this one and that it's the correct shade. It doesn't smell like anything. That's what it looks like though. I feel like it might be fine. Oh, it blends away. Oh, it turns into like a powder. <gasps> like it's like a, a, a cream to powder formula. That's wonderful. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in with another ColourPop sponge. We're just gonna dip it right in. Is that a good amount of product? And just... Oh. I think it's a good color match. It looks all right. Usually I'm like the same shades as uh, Jacqueline. But I don't know if this is her shade or not. I can't remember what shade she was wearing in her reveal video, but this one looks, this one looks okay. Doesn't look terrible, doesn't look great. I feel like it might be just a smidge too dark. I think I might have, should have gone with the one shade slightly lower in it, but that was only a couple swipes in there. And it's wonderful. Like it's blending away, it's melding into the skin. It doesn't look like it's ruining any of the foundation. I think this is this is good. Okay. I think that turned out pretty nice. I like this. This is nice. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Sephora because I want to try and test out her Sephora. <gasps> you hurt me. I'm going to sue you. You're getting sued. I'm bleeding. Anyways, I'm hoping this is fine because I'm going to, how bad are my eyes creasing right now? Mm, slightly. I'm just gonna repat over them. And I'm actually gonna set them with this kind of a powder. It's very puffy. It's adding a bit more coverage under there, but it's kind of turned my concealer yellow. Maybe if I put it everywhere, it won't look as bad. I'm like using this to set the whole face today. Instead of a loose powder, I'm just gonna use a foundation. 
powder instead. Gotta get rid of these creases in my forehead. Up here. I need like a tightening face mask so that I don't have wrinkles anymore on when I do makeup. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with my big giant puffy brush from Jackie JH01. We're just gonna go right into it and just pounce this everywhere. And what's great about using this brush too in this powder, there's not as much kick up because it's kind of going all over and picking it all up. So there's not much of anything. However, because my it's getting closer to winter now and my skin actually hates me, if you look, right here you can see all the texture of my dry skin especially right around here around my nose you can see all the textured dry skin even though I moisturize but that's fine it's okay skin that you are just rejecting everything and making everything look bad I think my skin is turning green from this necklace Kira that's why you don't get things cheaply made from Sheen. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly apply some blush and then we will jump into the highlighter. I forgot, I have the Trixie blush. I started applying my ColourPop Powerpuff Girl one. So, I'm just going to remove that color. It's gonna unfortunately have the color on my face ever so lightly, but it's because I forgot. So, this is the Back to the Fuchsia palette, which is all purple shades. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with Cyber Babe more towards the back and then kind of blend it all out more with Moon Boots, which is the, the purple one right there in the middle. So we're just very, we're just gonna pick you up. I'm loving these heart shapes. I love how big it is. We're just literally going to put it right there, nowhere else for this darker shade. And then, gonna go right into the middle one of moon boots we're just gonna kind of lighten it and blend it all together here it's a lot of blush Trixie Mattel would be gagged with how much blush I'm using like she would approve she would approve of it okay I'm gonna go because this is literally crazy I'm just gonna tap over it with my foundation sponge. So now we're going to dip into the putty highlighter. Now I'm assuming I'm just going to, going to go in with my fingers. This is what it looks like. It is beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. It is definitely putty. If you look, you can see fingerprints going into it. I'm just going to run my finger on it and it comes up Stunning. Stunning. Are you ready for this? Oh! Oh, but this is gonna give me... This is not my shade. This is like one of the lighter shades. Star Power. Yeah, this looked like one of the lighter shades. Why is it so dark? I'm gonna have a weird cast on my face now, but... C'est la vie. Alright, I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna... Tap it, just right here like this. It's giving me a dark cast. So I just have to go in super, super light. Mm. I'm so excited to get this too. This is not my shade. I might have to throw another highlighter on top just to kind of counteract what's happening. I mean, the finish is incredible. And it does not look like it is disrupting the foundation. So you can put this over powder. So that is good. Very good to know. But, can you see the cast on my face where I put it? I mean, again, the, blind, the highlight itself is beautiful. She knows how to make a highlighter. But, it's just not my shade. I'm going to try and lighten up the highlighter slightly probably with like a powder and I will be right back to dip into the cherry coke palette 
keep on watching. Okay, I am back. Eyebrows are on, eyelids are primed, highlighter is lighter. So in case you're wondering, I ended up using the Highlight Mermaids palette from Lime Crime in the shade Pearl. That's the one right here in the center. So now, now we're gonna dip into the Morphe Cherry Coke collection. It comes, it comes in a little flimsy dupe that looks like it's been destroyed. It's a hard tin. It almost reminds me of like an Altoids container. Uh, very different from the palette that they did, I think it was last year or the year before with the regular Coke palette, which I also did a review on. So if you wanna check that out, I will link it right up there for you to check out. But here we go. Oh, they have the names on this. Why? I like the color story. The color story is nice. The inside is okay but that's what the colors look like like it's nice i like it lots of reds lots of neutrals this i hate though because now i have to be like okay what shade am i going on to ha like you have you have the space you have the space you have the space put it on when i create my own palettes you best believe that there's going to be names on the palette and not on a little sheet i have three already made not full palettes, but concepts already made. Everything is looking relatively decent. I'm gonna go in with my Lunar Beauty eye brushes for this look. So on my LBE1 brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Yum Yum. <laughs> that's, that's this one right here. The pans are also a lot smaller in this palette than the other one because they're squares. The last one wore circles and there's a lot of kickback in the shade. Putting this into the crease pigment right away. It's what I like to see. I like seeing immediate pigment. And if there is no immediate pigment, I want it to be able to build up to pigment within two coats. No more than three. If I have to get more than three, and you're barely doing anything, you're not a good palette. But this is immediate coverage. I'm just doing a quick second layer on top, just really punch it in there. But so far, so good. On an LBE2 brush, I think I'm gonna deepen it slightly by going into the shade Satisfaction, right there. And this is gonna go Deepen on the crease, but also kind of the outer corner as well. Not, there's some kickback, not as much as the last one. Um, so I'm just gonna start here, kind of stamp it, and then we're just gonna look up and drag it in. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade just to really blend everything together here. On an LB5 brush, I'm gonna go in with, with a twist, which is that color right there. And this is gonna go on the outer portion of the lid. And then we're gonna transition into two other colors actually. We're just gonna do that. This is a wonderful color. I just wanna get the framework of it down first. Going on to the color next to it called Bring It On. That's just gonna go right next to it. And then on an LBE4, I'm gonna go in on Pretty Please. And that will be our eye look, and then I'll just solidify it all with my fingers. I'm gonna go in on an LBE6 brush. I'm gonna go in with a mixture of Fruity Fierce and All In. This is gonna go on the lower lash line
has a wonderful color mixture. Finally, on my LVE7, I'm gonna go into the shade, Gimme More. And this is gonna go on my inner corner. It's nice, I like it. It's really nice, and this is going in on a dry brush as well. It's already coming out more pigmented than that palette that I used in my boxy charm on Thursday. If you didn't see that, I will link it. So you can check that out, but this is immediately better. Those are the eyes all complete. I'm going to finish them off camera, mascara, liner, and I will be right back with a lip on to test out our final product, the lip oil, and then give you my final thoughts at the end. Keep on watching. All right, we are all back. Eyes are finished, lippies on. Now it is time to get to the final product from Jacqueline Cosmetics, the Crystal Drip Lip Oil. Let's take a look. That is a big fuzzy. That's fun. All right, so this is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's a really, really big fuzzy in it. Oh, and it drains it like really well. Okay. Let's take a look and see. I like how it's curved. You see that? Do you see how it's curved there? I was just like, like it could be flat, but then it's like, it's very curved as well. I like that. Cause then it contours right to the lip. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It feels really nice. It feels so hydrating. It's super slippery, super glossy. We love that. I love it. Okay, so this is the look all complete with all brand new products. So let's run down them one final time. The foundation, very watery, not a lot of coverage, but mixing these two with two pumps and one pump ended up being a pretty decent match. However, it does pick up a lot on the textures of your skin. And if you have dry patches, no matter how much you moisturize, it's going to find them and bring them out to the light where we want to keep them concealed in the darkness forever. I don't think I'll be reaching for these again, <laughs> just because I don't like how they perform on my skin. Maybe if I had better skin, they would look better, but it's gonna be a hard pass for me. The bronzer, it blends beautifully. It does not disrupt your foundation and it goes down into like a powderish form. However, this is definitely too dark. I should have gone one shade lighter uh, along with the highlighter. Beautiful, 100% does not disrupt the foundation at all. You, I powdered and set my entire face and layered this right on top and it was perfectly fine. However, again, not my shade. I should have gone one shade lighter. The powdered foundation face powder. This is in the shade Nude. It slightly, slightly darkened the concealer. However, it did not accentuate any texture, but it did not take away. So it's okay. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't reach for it again. Like I'll probably end up using it and once I hit pan, I'm not gonna go out and buy myself another one. The Cherry Coke palette. I thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's cute. I think it's a great concept. The color story is wonderful. I love the shades in it. Everything blended perfectly. Everything looks stunning and we love her. The lip oil, love how it feels, love how it looks. There's no stringiness. I know it's not a gloss and I know it's an oil, so there's probably never going to be any stringiness to it. But just good to know, it's not looking like it's breaking apart the lipstick at all. It looks really nice. The Back to the Fuchsia blush palette. I like it a lot. It's very pigmented. This one is very subtle. I think I might just use this one. If I want more of a bold color, like how I got like today, although it has kind of settled into the skin, so that's good. I'll probably go in with that one, but if I want more of just a quick, subtle kind of blush, I'll go in with the middle one. I do want to try, you know what? I'm just gonna swatch <gasps> Hologram. It feels so nice. It's a purple highlighter. So we're just gonna, we're gonna see right here. Are you ready? 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. Two layers. There we go. So it's like a silvery purple shade. It's okay. I'll have to apply it onto the skin to test that out another day. But all of these items I approve of except for the foundation. The foundation is not my favorite. But otherwise, everything is pretty good. So, if you enjoyed how this look turned out, if you enjoyed my review on these products, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I put out weekly videos. And hit that notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video. Because if you don't, how else are you going to know when I post a video? You won't, so do it. I'm going to go and see Shang-Chi and have that review for you on Friday. But until then, goodbye friendships.